Hi all, it is Nico Olaf again and uh, in this video we are going to discuss how to correct uh, mistakes. Of course not made by you, but uh, sometimes they are also your fault, but uh, nevertheless uh, we have uh, the project uh, on the um, full screen here, which is a temporary output, just uh, checking uh, what the final result is. I'm just going to zoom in now. What you see is, uh, are the um, villages here in brown, uh, roads in uh, black and so on. But the essence of our talk today will be these uh, great areas which represent uh, the, um, <coughs> the field roads as I can see. Field roads uh, shall be looking uh, like uh, here, just uh, lines going through the fields, but uh, in this case we have uh, actually overlapping features of uh, two different layers. And when I used uh, my symbology, it uh, um, just created uh, the mistaken one with the road. Um, roads uh, going through the fields. You can see the same problem here, here also, here and so on. Now we're going to correct that. Just go to QGIS. And I've uh, basically prepared my plot for work. I've left only two layers visible. The one is uh, for the properties, real estates, uh, basically these are our fields uh, outside the village area and uh, the layer for the mistaken roads going through the fields. It is represented in uh, this uh, pinkish color and uh, the real estates are in the uh, blue color. Here are the real estates and I've already done some work uh, just to see how it goes and uh, the finished uh, um, dissolved layer for uh, real properties is uh, in white o um, over above the other so I can see where have I gone up to. You can see here is my layer and uh, it basically overlaps the both the properties and the road uh, and the field uh, field roads whenever i see white i know i've already done this area not to do it again what uh, is our task we have to uh, <coughs> excavate, excavate uh, the uh, areas uh, from the road uh, roads uh, go going through the fields there that uh, are actually just fields. As you can see, if I leave only the um, roads uh, layer here, you can see this is uh, at all cost uh, no road. Uh, this is uh, these are the fields, and uh, I've got to carve a boundary in it with the existing fields. The boundary I get from the layer of uh, real estates, and I start first by uh, showing all the working layers and uh, going to the layer of the real estate. And uh, just uh, go to your option uh, select by polygon or select by rectangle. You can use either of them. I will click on select on uh, polygon. My shortcut is shift plus quotation mark. And start selecting uh, the basic layer containing the, all the features like that. Remember to 
uh, before finishing the selection to click uh, control key so that it is added to what you've already selected and click uh, right mouse button as you can see I selected uh, the mistaken uh, feature which uh, is uh, th this uh, field road here I've got this selected by again clicking uh, the control key in the end and that's what I wanted I selected only the fields uh, which overlap the mistaken layer if I go to you can see I've, I've just selected the fields inside which I will later excavate uh, from the mistaken uh, features and you continue doing just that here also you select only the fields inside the world I prefer using uh, select by polygon because my geometry isn't uh, rectangular at all like that and uh, now deselect the existing world I can try also by to select by rectangle like that and uh, yes that's what I wanted here we are we finished selecting the real estates where they overlap the um, field roads layer which was mistaken now we've got to uh, copy this uh, uh, all the yellow features which are the current selection into our existing layer using Control plus C and going to the layer which is uh, already stored in uh, this layer here our selection and Control plus V now a uh, very useful tool which I recommend to use is uh, just to select all features in the layer by going to the attribute table and just like that shift plus uh, right bracket is my shortcut and uh, go to go to one feature at the bottom and uh, shift and click uh, the top feature this will select uh, everything in this layer and now use uh, merge tool it is located here merge selected features my shortcut is control plus uh, plus uh, uh, double point not sure if that's the, the English term, but uh, I will use it anyway. We wait now. They're about to be merged into one feature. Yes, uh, now it uh, asks us uh, what attributes to assign to this feature. It doesn't matter. I'll select that one and press OK now uh, as you can see everything is uh, in one feature now I want uh, to build separate features this to be one feature this to be another feature and so on you can do that by <clears throat> going to the split features parts it's a plugin you can download it by going to the manage and install plugins I've already installed it, but um, in your case, if you haven't done that already, you will have to go to not installed and uh, search for uh, split, split, and uh, you will find it. It's called mood part split, and uh, just press the uh, install plugin. Here's how it works. It split all the uh, my one feature in, into many reunited polygons. Now cancel editing the layer, save your your changes, and uh, now 
what we want to do is to excavate uh, from the mistaken layer here to excavate these areas, the white areas. You can do that by going to the vector uh, geoprocessing tools and um, difference. Input will be the basic layer from which you are excavating some parts. I'm just searching for it. This one. Not only select features. The difference layer will be this one. Not only selected features. And select output shape file. And now I specified the path and the result you can see in blue. Also, load. The blue layer is the real output, and the pinkish layer was uh, the mistaken one. Now you can use that uh, for whichever purposes you like. I will just uh, merge all the features together. Back on again. Hm. It's interesting. Ah, it claims that uh, it is already one feature. That's good. I'll use that. And I can go to basically <clears throat> the layer which was mistaken in the first place. Uh, containing these uh, great areas, select from it all the mistaken ones. Here, I will just write the count because I will need it later. 3,355 and uh, the name. Okay, start editing and delete these features. And you can see that uh, here also there are my precious uh, fields which were invisible. And now I will just copy my features going from this layer. Press Ctrl plus C, go to the layer where you want to copy them. Yes, the attribute shall be this one. That's why we're not seeing it. And now I expect everything to be all right. Yes. And as a final result, it is uh, much better looking than uh, here. Going through the same areas. Yes, just as expected. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, <laughs> I hope you will not be dealing with uh, such mistaken layers as I have to, but life is life. See you next time.